I've been homeless 15 months now. And uh, it's, it, when, I, when I started to become homeless, when I, beca when I became homeless, um, I, I've, be I've been with my partner and my children, and we're starting to argue, and, and, and we're getting a bit aggressive, you know? Um, not violent, aggressive. And uh, kids were getting frightened. Police were getting called for all screaming and shouting. And uh, it, were, it were either a case of social services get involved and I didn't want that, you know, stuff to do with kids. Kids, kids were well looked after, they go to school, everything. So we, they didn't need that in their life. Um, so I walked away. Now I stayed at one of my friend's house for two weeks. But um, he had his own family. And uh, it was causing arguments between him and his, and, and his missus. You know, so I left them there. Anyway, there's an homeless shelter just up there near the hospital called the Crypt. So I went there. I've stayed there for three weeks. First time I stayed there. And uh, obviously there's, there's pe other people that, you know, you can only stay there so long. Recently, I've, I mean, I've, I, I, all, all the rest of the time, I've been sleeping in a car park, in a cupboard in a car park up there. Um, anyway, yeah. But recently, past, past three months, um, I found a, a, a place that, it's like a, where people who's traveling can stay. You know, it's just one night, um, it's like 12, 13 pound, and uh, I've been staying there a few nights. A hostel? Yeah, like an hostel. Um, it's just like a, a bed, a bed, a kettle, well, and that's it, you mm. know? And some drawers to, to put your stuff in. And there's a shower there and a washing machine, so you can wash your clothes. Um, and, and get a shower, mm. and then on the morning uh, they provide you breakfast. It's only cereal or fruit or, you know, a glass of orange, mm. um, and that sets you up for day. You have to be out by dinner time. Um, that sets you up for day, and then I'll, I'll come down here and I'll, I'll, I'll sit down and I'll try and get money for tonight, mm. you know? About, I've been homeless now for about 20 years. I, I lost my mum to cancer. Yeah. And, before that, I had a really, really good upbringing, so I never wanted for nothing. I'd never worked, never had to work. Yeah. Um, but when my mum passed away, because she, she paid the mortgage on the house and, she, and bills and stuff, yeah. I couldn't do none of that. So um, so the bank repossessed the house and the bears come and just kicked me out onto the streets. I've been, oh, before the pandemic and that law, I had a flat, and because of all the written areas and that law, Got out of hand and that, so landlords kicked us out. Yeah. So on the street, but obviously because we a couple, there's no help out there for couples and that. You have to go in a single and that law. So yeah, there, there is no help for us and that. So how long have you been on streets? About two and a half years now, isn't it? Yeah. So. And then when you come out, when you've been in jail and you come out of jail, there's just no help whatsoever. No. You get promised and promised and promised in jail, and you see your support workers and that and they just give it all this and then when you get out you're on your own as soon as you leave them gates you're on your own mm. that's it and yeah and like say especially for couples they just don't help whatsoever you try it you can go one way and you can go other way but how's that going to help yeah. when we both want to be together you know what i mean and then the put us on the streets how are you supposed to try and have a normal life when no help's given at all yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, well help is given but in wrong places I just, I, like, I'll sit down for a bit, get a bit of money. I'll go and get something to eat, something to drink. You, you see, it's, it's hard because I've got nowhere to put food in that yet, so I've got to buy it, like, hand to mouth, is it? You've got, like, you know, and, and it's expensive. Mm. You know, it, it, it's not like going to a supermarket and buying loads and then putting it in the freezer and, you know, it, it's, it's going to Greg's or, or Starbucks or McDonald's or, mm. you know, stuff like that. But these, these organisations that have come around and, and give us food, you know, um, it might only be a, a little, little, pot, little pot of curry, mm. you know, a bar of chocolate and a bottle of pop, you know, and maybe a pudding. Um, but that's not every night. They only do it so many nights a week. Mm. But, yeah, that, that, so that helps, you know. But... You just find somewhere to sit. 
and and I fall asleep a lot of time because I I don't get much sleep sleeping on on a, on on cardboard, mm. you know. So like now, I mean, when I slept in a bed last night because I slept at the hostel, mm. um, but I'm still tired because I, I work late, you know. I went went down in there's a telly room there the night, you know, and watch telly and it, you know just little things like that. It's, you miss all that when when you when you living like this. I've been staying at St George's Crypt at the homeless shelter on and off. Literally, I, I get up in the morning, I come out, I, I, try, I, have, a, I have a meal at St George's Crypt usually before I leave, they do a meal at 12 o'clock. And I come out and I can just be wandering the streets all day. Come out first thing in the morning, sit here, try making enough money as we can. So at least we can get a room for the night, so yeah. that you can get a shower. They wash your clothes up there as well for us and that, if they know you're homeless and that. Yeah. So at least we've got one bed, shower. I try and get as much as I can for her though, you know what I mean? Like, for me, I'm not asked though. You know what I mean? I just rush it's it. degrading sitting here, yeah. having to do this. And like but, I say, all the help goes in the wrong places. But you keep getting chased away by these council people and that. But I said to them, they, they, when they asked me why am I begging, I said, this I'm not for drugs or anything, mine's for accommodation. Mm -hmm. I said, but you lot keep chasing me away and that though. I said, but I'd rather sit here and embarrass myself by begging than going out committing crime, going to jail, losing my missus, you know what I mean? Like, so I'd rather sit here doing this. Right. I've been sat here three times this morning, I just keep getting chased off by the by same woman, but... You said you're chasing us off, they could give us some help. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Are they from centre? No, no. Merriam centre is proper good though, because obviously I know the security staff in there and that though. Yeah. They know I don't go in there rubbing and that though. Yeah. I sit here, behave myself. I'm not aggressive beggar and that, like most people, they're doing leads and that though. I mean, if people want to give money, then they do it out of their own will. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But, you know, Other it's just, that, a, just a way of living. It. So if I can get a room for her for night time, then obviously make our way up to Seacroft. That's the only closest place you can. There's not, yeah. there's nothing else in Leeds. Definitely so. not, and it's a big city as well, and they just, just washes away really. Not being clean, it's awful. Mm. You know, I, I used to be a clean, very clean person. I'm clean shaven. You know, always hair. Nicely groomed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, um, nice, not nice clothes, but they're all. I'm always clean and tidy and smart mm. and presentable. And and I don't feel like that now. I, I feel a bit dirty to tell you the truth. Mm. Yeah, uh, you know. So. Been lonely to be honest with. I I hate me not. Just just been lonely. I hate it. Been on my own. I like company. Yeah. Leaving her on her own. I don't like leaving her on her own, no, because you get loads of predators out here and that, though, you know what I mean? No, so. But this is what you have to do, you haven't got no choice when you wake up in the morning, you're doing the same thing every single day. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And it's. I'd love nothing more than my own little house, you know what I mean? Me and her in our own little flat. Just or even out. a bed set. Yeah. We're not even bothered, just a room. <laughs> you know what I mean? We yeah. wouldn't even care if they want a bed in there, just yeah. bedding. <laughs> Sometimes you think you're better off in jail. Because at least it's structured then, you get three meals a day, you don't have to worry about gas and electric. But the hardest thing is being away from him. Oh, it's an yeah, heartbreaker. Yeah. An heartbreaker. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. But you do what you got to do, don't you? Um, a lot of them, they'll, they'll, they'll say, are you hungry? Um, and they'll, they'll either say, come with me, and they'll take you to McDonald's, or, or they'll say, I'll get you some, and they'll ask you what you want, and they'll, and they'll go and get, get you something to eat. Mm -hmm. Or, um, majority of people will just put a bit of money in a cup. Um, I, when I get enough to, to stay at hostel, mm. I'll, 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 I might get a couple extra quid for some food, because you don't get nighttime meals up there. Mm. Um, or, yeah, so like that, they'll put a bit of money in your cup and that, you know, like that's how they help, you know. Mm. But a lot of, the, the majority of people, mate, they just walk past and don't even acknowledge you, you know. It's a bit hard. Yeah. Well, I feel a bit worthless, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Even if they just said, no, I can't help you, you know, a bit of acknowledgement and that'd be fine. Yeah. You know, but. You do from charities as well. 
to be honest with you, Ben, there's, there's a lot of charities out there that, that, that come out and provide us with food and meals yeah. and, and stuff like that, but there's only a limit to what they can do. Yeah. You get help with like, your drugs and that though, but obviously you have to go out and find the help though, innit? Obviously if you want to change in that, there is places where you can get help and that. But they just make you jump through so many restrictions and that though, and especially if you've got that criminal record and that though, it's harder for you. Mm. you know what I mean? If you've got no idea and that, you've got no chance of getting no help in that. Definitely not. So, it's harder if you've got a criminal record and if you're a couple. Yeah, yeah well. definitely, 100%. That's why we just live in a tent together. You know what I mean? And, Shite, really. Well, like I was saying, I'm number 15 or 16. We were talking about, you know, bidding for council property. Yeah. As soon as I get my own place, I'm going to do it to the best I can. I'll be living properly. I want to go back to work um, and get my family over, my mm -hmm. kids over, and like on a weekend. Have a good, you know. Yeah. I want it so they want to come and stay with the dad, and do you know what I mean? I, just get my family back, you know. Is there anything you'd say to them if you could? Just tell them I love them, and you know, I'm, I'm sorry now if they see me like this. You know what I mean? But yeah. Because I don't know. It might sound mad, man, but I lost hope a long time ago. I really did. I've been here 20 years now. I just, I can't see it ever changing. I'm too used to living like this now. You think you'll be here forever? Yeah. I'll be here till dead, are you? All I want, mate, yeah, is just a roof over my head where me and her can be stable, you know what I mean? So we don't have to keep coming out here doing this every day and that law. He wants to get a job, but like you say, it's hard because I've you still look at your criminal record, you're stuffed. Yeah. It's not only that, though, I've got mental health problems and that though, so I used to stop home proper badly and that. Yeah. Obviously I met her and I stopped self farming and that though, but when people see that though, they think, we're not going to give you a job, are we? If you can't yeah, trust yourself with, with, with blades and that, we're not going to trust you though, are we? Yeah. So, but... But you know what, if we could get into work and stuff like that and being given a chance, we're probably one of the best people that, you know, would. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But. Like you say, people just don't look at you twice. Alright, thank you very much. No, no, you're welcome.